Hello everyone, Ace here, and today, well, I'm just going to have to go ahead and say it. The recent video of the CEO of YouTube receiving a free expressions award, which by the way itself is sponsored by YouTube, is nothing short of pure cringe. And is also a fantastic example of just how out of touch with reality YouTube as a company is these days. And it's not solely due to the fact that YouTube is giving itself an award either, although that is certainly a large part of it. But even so, I would still have to say that there is a far bigger reason as to why this video is getting ratioed so hard. And it ultimately has to do with the sheer levels of doublethink required to give someone an award for promoting free expression, and then in the very same video celebrating this award, also go into great detail on how this person actively censors their own platform, including for people who by their own admission have not even broken any rules. And not only that, but in the video they are also trying to still spin that as somehow promoting free speech and free expression. Yes, you heard me right, according to you YouTube's logic, actively engaging in censorship against people who haven't even broken the rules is considered promoting free speech and free expression. And the absolute brainlet that is arguing this presently runs one of the biggest social media platforms in the world. And what's ironic is that Susan, by her own admission, should know better, as her family apparently came to the US fleeing communist Poland and having first-hand experience of just exactly how the Iron Curtain operated. So in light of this, I've decided to come up with a new nickname for Susan Mujiki. From now on, I'm going to be referring to Susan Mujiki as the Iron Curtain of Social Media, a name that I hope you'll agree fits given the circumstances. So let's go on to my thoughts on the video itself. Well, while I would like to say that perhaps YouTube may take the thrashing that is received in the comments and likes to dislikes ratio as a lesson, and perhaps even reflect on what they've become, at this point, I don't exactly see the people running that company to be mentally capable of the basic critical thinking skills required for that. It would instead appear that it is quite beyond their capacity. So instead, the only real hope is perhaps Susu Mujiki's inevitable replacement. And given that she has taken a company that at one point was indeed profitable and has instead proceeded to run it straight into the ground, one has to wonder just how much longer that will be. Because let's face it, the current situation for YouTube is simply untenable in the end. But in any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out. <laughs>